I need flowers. I'll take the party hat as a symbol of our friendship, puppy doggy. Okay. It says no dogs allowed. Oh, really? Wait, are we in Germany or where are we? Oh, it's dog poop. Do I step in the dog poop? Okay, I step in the dog poop. Oh no, I step on doggy doo. Okay, you can't throw glitter on that. Let's see what came out. I see a lot of glitter and... Is that rice pudding? <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. Please, let's keep moving. Okay, um, yeah, this is not what I had expected when turning on this game. Uh, also, do we have any linguists in the chat who know what language this is? I just guessed German because I see those little dots on top of the letters, but it, it's probably not that. That thing doesn't work. Do you see all the crap lying Swedish. Around? Thank you. That's a good observation, Miss Fortune. Thank you. The dots are umlauts. Thank you. I have only seen umlauts when I was in Berlin. So, so misfortune. That's all I know. At the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And the party, right? Ah, yes. That too. You know, once at this lake, I got my head stuck in a plastic bag. I remember falling asleep and waking up in the hospital. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I almost died. Oh. I don't think that's how children work. Oh, uh, what's happening? Save me, Benjamin! Save me! Yeah, tell me about it. Where are these birds taking me? I have no idea, but you have to do something about it, fast. All right. I don't think birds have balls. I think we should just throw glitter. I don't think that birds have balls. Okay. They have eggs. My glitter is shiny. So if I throw glitter at the birds, they will only see shiny. And they will get confused and leave me alone. That sounds like a solid plan, Miss Fortune. Alright, here I go. Glitter attack! Oh, here I go. Wait, how high are we? I will say... Like, she's got all my facial expressions to a T. This a long time. We didn't even go that high up. Well... Time seems to slow down when we are in danger. <laughs> look, I, Am I in danger? Look. <laughs> <gasps> it's a chicken. Hey, look, a birdie. Hello, birdie. Oh, he's flipping us the bird. Oh, that was a rude bird. I get it. I 
get it. Huh. Oh, why didn't I break my legs and die? Uh, you seem very good at falling. Thank you. <laughs> so, Mr. Boys, is the party on the same line to the eternal <laughs> happiness? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About the puppy? Yes. I mean, if you want to. George leave his puppy by the side of the road anyways? That's the real question. Why did, why? Why did they leave the puppy by the road anyways? You know what? It's your fault for being an irresponsible dog owner. The pu you don't have to know. I don't want to get in trouble. You don't have to know. I really want to dance at the party. All right, no. Then. In a park that doesn't allow dogs, you are absolutely correct. Oh, look, a boat. Hello. Are we there yet? Just a little bit farther away. Uh, oh, a fish. What should we do about it? Um, I don't think we bring the fish with us. I think we release the fish. Unless you think we're gonna get attacked by bears? If we get attacked by bears, then maybe we need the fish. I mean, this game already had us being attacked by crows. I think we bring the fish just in case there's a bear attack. I'll keep it. His name is Rodrigo and he needs a new place to stay. Okay, Rodrigo. I wonder if Rodrigo has heard about sushi. Oh boy. It's like Rodrigo put in tiny pieces, you know? <laughs> oh my. All right, let's just uh, keep going about our- And here we are, the house of George. I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself. You'll do fine. Just don't mention the puppy like we discussed earlier. Yes, okay, I'll just dance. Oh yeah, we could just dance. We're good at dancing. Oh my God, the fish is dead too. George kills everything that he touches. I don't like George. Knock or ring the bell. I... I get nervous when people knock on the door, so I technically like to ring the doorbell. What do you guys think? Knock, bell, knock, knock. Ring, knock, I don't like either. Show them who's alpha. Let's, uh, maybe he has, like, the ring app. Like, for Amazon, right? Maybe he has, like, the ring thing. Let's just do a ringy-dingy doorbell, because I don't always hear when someone knocks on my door. But it, when I do, it terrifies me. Nobody's answering. I'll invite myself in. Cool, so that didn't matter at all, then. check out the party. Is it a I dead saw frog? I animals floating in the lake, just like this fisher. Um, is George the dad with the three piercings or the son with the double lift haircut? Ah, oh, what a nice picture. I wish I had a picture like this with my mommy and daddy. Ah! Sorry. Hello? Sorry. What is Sorry. it, Miss Fortune? Sorry. Nothing. I saw a man was floating in the lake. Just like <coughs> Sorry. this vision. Sorry. Sorry. Are you sure this is the right house? Where is the party? Hello? Excuse me, are you George? 
I don't know anything about any puppy, but it was Brahma's that party. Oh no, wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hung himself? Like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? No! No, his fortune is dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead. Don't touch his boots! Fortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I like the puppy. Bye. Will you throw glitter at him? Okay, whoever's spamming TSM, you need to stop. We're gonna throw glitter now. Go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes. Wait, can I take his boots? Can I take the boots though? Because she said she wanted boots. Okay, no, we can't take the boots. is not representative of the content within this game. The art style is very much not representative oh, of the content. I love the woods with the trees Wait, we can take and the, the birds and Miss the Legendary animals. painting? Dangerous animals, Miss Fortune. You can I go back? Run into a fox. A fox? Like Benjamin? Yes, but all foxes are evil. So keep your eyes open. Uh, all right. Said, so, oh, <laughs> what up, golden boy? Uh, can we go back to the painting? Someone said I missed a painting. No, it doesn't look like we could go back, but it's okay. Um, I still don't believe him. I think that Benjamin is not evil. I think that he is a sassy fox man. And according to Zootopia and all furry fanfics ever, foxes are okay dudes. Okay, we have voodoo dolls. With a surrender, with like a white flag surrendering. Oh. Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. Number one. I don't know what a jackdaw Everything is. Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. <laughs> All right. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. Ooh, are we keeping things from the narrator now? dangerous fox. No, it's Jeremy, yeah, Benjamin. I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. No, I'm not going to attack Benjamin. Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> Hello, is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh no, don't go. Oh. <sighs> what a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> um. Huh. It looks like Benjamin likes to paint. That's pretty cool. So Benjamin I was like creating some like... sort of circle. Focus, Miss Fortune. We need to see Benjamin's into alchemy. Okay. Anyone who's also into uh, FMA is clearly a homie. Okay, I don't like it when the crows show up because something bad is gonna happen when the crows show up. It's like whenever the crows polis. What's a polis? Oh, police. See that, guys? I speak Swedish. Okay. Um, I don't know if we go into the cave because it it says that there's a rock slide. I feel like going into the cave. I missed something on the circle. Okay, let's go back and head to the circle. I thought I hit everything on the circle. Oh, the paintbrush? Oh, good. We're completing the circle now for Benjamin. Bad, bad, oh, 
Okay, so I think Benjamin is a good guy because Benjamin was creating a ward of protection that looked like it was clearly busted and that big thing wants to hurt us. So, okay, I, I guess we just have to go into the cave. Oh, is this the magical cave? It doesn't look that magical. Just wait until you go inside. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. Oh, I have a question. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. Sparkle? Ah, cool. So, whenever you're ready. Where's the go home option? Yeah, I, I also think that the narrator is trying to kill us. I mean, like, can we even stay in the forest? Did Benjamin go into the cave? It definitely seems like the fox is the good guy in this scenario. Go cave exp You guys want me to go die in the cave? Enter the cave, there's a monster behind us. I know the monster is catching up on us, but I mean, right now we do have the protected circle. Okay, listen, Golden Boy says that the narrator sounds very trustworthy, so I think we have to go into the cave. All right, this is for Golden Boy. Oh, I can't wait to see the magic inside. And also because, yes, it did look like the the monster was approaching us, but I'm also curious as to where uh, Benjamin went. This cave is huge! Echo! <laughs> well, let's explore the cave. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. There was no echo. It was me. You're a real comedian, Miss Fortune. Thank you. I wonder if I was this annoying when I was a kid. The answer is probably yes. So for everyone who's just joining us right now, since we're about a little less than an hour into the game, we jump into this game and the first thing that we learn is the narrator says, Hello, everyone. This is Little Miss Fortune. And today... <laughs> What was that? What? Did I miss something? I'm not sure. What's this? A hamster corner? A hamster! hamster! Wait a second, that hamster has titties! Oh, you love parties. <laughs> do I? <laughs> Can we go inside? I don't know. Let's go find out. Ladies and gentlemen, this may be the only opportunity in our lives that we get to find out what hamster titties look like. Therefore, we're going in. Wait a second, is that- Ugh, hamster fight! Are you going to do something about it? End the violence between the hamsters? I kind of want to see how this plays out though. I don't, I, I kind of want to see how this plays out. Say no? Everyone says no. People want violence. I mean, I- Listen, I've never seen hamsters fight before. I- I kind of want to see how it goes down. I don't want to get involved in their blood. Yeah, he could have, like, I don't know, stole his girl or something, right? Like, we don't know the story between these two hamsters. Wait, did she just eat? Wow, I'm feeling really nice.
Oh, she threw up again. That was an refreshment at all. Oh, the blood is gone. Are you all right, Miss Fortune? I'm okay. Is there like an inventory situ system in this game? No, there isn't. X, X, X. Talk about crazy. Excuse me. How about a little lady getting inside? No, I'm not that important, you said. Okay. Aww. Can you believe this guy, Mr. Royal? We have to find another way out now. These tiny cutie cars are killing me with their cuteness. <laughs> so cute. I'm I'm this hamster on the left. Just uh, sipping on a bottle outside with, with puke all around me. Oh, look. Look at them with their tiny cocktails and their tiny clothing. This is too cute for me. It is cute. It is cute. The hamsters, yeah, these hamsters are, uh, they're making baby hamsters. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes. Looks like she was robbed. Oh, I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes. So we did right. good. We did good. We killed, we essentially killed uh, the robber of Grandma <laughs> Hamster. Excuse me. I think I have your purse. We did good. We see on the means though. I tried one and it was a wild ride. Is that for me? <gasps> what is it? Live nude hamsters! VIP! That's your reward for returning the bag. A VIP ticket for the club. I get to put it inside the club? <laughs> yes, and one step closer to the eternal happiness. <laughs> That's a win-win for me. Is there anything? Huh. Okay. Alright, there's... Looks like there's nothing else for us to explore over here. Alright. Excuse me, sir. Uh, here are my credentials. Excuse me. I'm a very VIP. I'm, I'm a very, very VIP. VIP. Finally, a real boy. How do we get inside, though? Because, like, we aren't the size of a hand... This place it's is a Jojo so hamster. Sweet. Is this the VIP floor? Yes, you could say that. Am I allowed to bounce? Of course you are. Wait, we're oh, the size of please. hamsters now. Listen, Miss Fortune, you need to find the white rabbit. A white rabbit? Why? It will lead you closer to the eternal <laughs> happiness. Okay, I'll find it. Okay. All right, we are in the hamster strip club. Actually, but like, honestly, look, there are lady hamsters here too. So this is just, you know, everyone's everyone's enjoying what- Excuse me, can you let me through? Hmm, okay. Oh no, Stoney, what are you doing? This is not the time. What's happening? It looks like this hamster challenged Stoney to a dance battle. No, we don't have time for this. I think we do. I'm sorry, but it's on rock and roll, Stoney. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna try my best. There's no way that I'm losing this. Perfect score! Perfect score, in arrow. Perfect score! Look at the hamster's package, though. I never thought I would say that sentence, ever. But look at the hamster's package. It's still out there. Don't you want it? Oh, yes, I really want it. Let's go. I love it when people are something. Smile beautiful thing that makes uh, I'm trying to read the the beauty is the one we need to follow allow us to see oh, look at the nerd hamster 
Wait, is he holding like a ring box? Did the hamster get like rejected for a proposal? What's the, <gasps> it's a hamster dressed like a bunny. Oh, is that the white rabbit hamster that we're supposed to? Oh, so cute. Is that sugar? Oh my is God, the hamsters are doing so cocaine. Sweet. Yes, sure, why not? <laughs> Talk to the ladies. I missed talking to the ladies. There wasn't anything that popped up when I walked by him. Oh, here we go. Uh, you're cute. So cute. Is that strawberry use? Mmm, yummy. Oh, strawberry use. Look, the white rabbit. Oh my gosh. Follow it. Yes. Okay. I guess we have to follow the white rabbit. Wait, is that us? Hey, you, on the other side of the screen. Is that us? Listen, I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will misfortune rarely die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? Oh, I'm drinking will strawberry juice right eternal now. eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. Wait. Oh, Miss Fortune, <laughs> you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry. It's not far from here. Great. <laughs> I think that's us. I think that's us on the poster. But kind of looks like us. Missing kid. Is that us? Kind of, it kind of looks like us. The eyes are really wide, like far apart. The small I don't nose. Like this. Maybe I should go back home. Bye. Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. All right then. <laughs> I feel like maybe we should go back home. Can we go back home? We can't go back home. I feel like maybe we should have never have left home and. It's not us. Why is everyone wearing a mask? Hello. Why is that lady wearing a mask? All of this stuff is starting to freak me out, man. Miss Fortune, watch your language. <laughs> okay. So she could say damn it, but says poo crap and all of a sudden, oh. A unicycle. Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, what social commentary? <laughs> Phantasmagoria, the horror fair. <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to open fields? That's so awesome. Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. Okay. All right. I can't wait. <laughs> Look, it's Benjamin. You children, hide your, hide your child. Hide your children. You know, if you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't go! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. Um, I have a feeling that the narrator is actually this... 
hate when the people just start walking towards me. I get anxiety. I have a feeling that Benji is a good fox and he's trying to hide the children who are getting stolen probably by the narrator. Full Ket Park Kiosk. Are we going to the park? Yes. Okay. So her name was, I think, like... So done, you fuck! Misfortune. <laughs> what? Language. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, she is me when I was little. <laughs> Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. We haven't seen any uh, sparkle silly. opportunities Here recently. You go. Happiness to Mr. Boys! Oh well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make mommy proud. Yes. Oh my gosh. Look at the blue sign. It's a picture of the angry dude with the antlers holding a child. Okay, the narrator is definitely trying to steal us. He is definitely trying to steal it children. Says, don't feed the bird. Mata oh, in okay. T Faglarna. What is the La Muerte Esta Viva? Ye say Alimenta Deti. Eat fruits and veggies. I understand that word. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Oh. Sign and mm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Yes. Yeah. Listen to this one. Both hanging too low. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh look, a drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go. All right. Balls hanging too. Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's Kevin? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. N equals narrator? Picked up earlier. You mean Rodrigo, my fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm, I guess that maybe that will be a fair thing to maybe do. I guess. Why do we want to give it to the seagull though? Just because he thinks that I thought we I thought we keep the fish. The, the fish is probably dead, but I feel like I thought we have to keep the fish in case a bear attacks us. You know? We think that you think that we should give the fish? Cuz he's an alcohol. Okay, I get that. What if the fish is carrying us because the seagull is depressed and a bum? I don't think we should give the fish. The narrator's trying to make us get rid of the fish. Yeah, the seagull's sad, but you know what they say. Give a seagull a fish and he downs it with a bottle of whiskey, but teach a seagull to walk into an AA meeting and maybe he's going to find a fish on his own. Right? They do say that. Thank you, Anero. Thank you, they, they do say that. I don't, I feel like the narrator's trying to get us to give away the fish too early. I feel like I, I don't wanna give the fish away because I wanna save the fish for if a bear comes after me. I, I don't think we should be encouraging this seagull's behavior. Someone says, give the fish so the seagull will fight the bear for me. 
The seagull needs an AA meeting, not a fish. What is with me and bears? Oh, I mean, technically we're out of a forest now, but like... Let's, let's, here, let's do this. Let's do a poll in the chat. How do I make a poll? Slash poll. Feed fish. Okay, okay, question. Do we give the fish? I'm gonna let chat decide, yes, no. Okay. And away we go. Oh, you're right. The sign does say don't feed the birds. So we probably shouldn't give the fish to the birds. You're right. Okay. Yeah, I think we I think we have to keep the fish. We'll let we'll let people vote in the chat, but I think that we should follow the sign. You guys are, you know, like chaotic evil. You guys are evil saying that we should feed the birds. And look, he has a bag of whatever next to him anyways. They want to keep the birds hungry so they don't rebel. Well, that that may be pushing it a little bit. But the other sign was made by the narrator. So by the logic of ignoring the narrator, we feed the goal. No, because the narrator wants us to feed the seagull. And we have a feeling that the narrator is a bad guy. Nah, look at him. He needs a lift me up in the form of a fish. Okay. Uh, chat says, no, we do not feed the fish. We are not going to feed the fish. We're going to keep the fish in case a bear attacks. If you want a fish friend forever, you need to find your own. Yeah. Rodrigo is my responsibility. Rodrigo is my responsibility. That's very mature of you, Miss Fortune. Yeah. Sorry, Seagull. You're going to have to just keep hick hick hiccuping on your own. Oh, look, it's a, it's a pony. I want to ride the pony. Would you like to ride the royal horse of the park? I would like to. Yes, I do want to ride the royal horse at the park. Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. Look at me go. Look at me. I'm on the horse. I'm horsey. Stop it. Okay. Oh. Oh. That was unfortunate. Are you alright? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. I'm such a you little are lady. Really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So you know what I mean. Does he just want me to break? Like, narrator does not seem like a nice guy. She can't that back. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with duck. This guy is just not That's very accepting. Very Wait a second. Look, he's carrying a boombox. This could and a be blunt. An opportunity to finally dance for reals. I'm down to dance like for reals. Show me some of your dance moves. Hell yeah, I'm showing my dance skills. Of course, check this out. <laughs> oh, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> 